So have you ever had one of those situations where maybe it's late at night and you're gonna be meeting your friend early in the morning and you need to tell him something, but you don't really wanna text because it's so late and so you don't wanna wake him up? Well, fortunately, there is actually a way to schedule out a text message on iOS and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to open up an iOS app that comes standard on any modern iOS device, which is gonna be called Shortcuts. And under shortcuts, you're going to see at the bottom, you should have a middle tab that says automation. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on automation and then we're going to tap new automation. Then what you wanna do is go to time of day. And under time of day, you wanna, sp you wanna specify the time of day that you actually want to have this automated text message sent. You can do sunrise or sunset, but more than likely, you're probably going to want to specify a time. So let's say maybe I am going hiking with a friend tomorrow who just so happens to regularly forget their sunscreen. So we're gonna go ahead and do 8 a.m. and then we're going to specify monthly. This will make sense as to why we have to even specify a uh, repeat, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to be doing monthly. What you want to do is go ahead and specify the current month. There we go, go ahead and tap to have that go back. And then want to make sure that I am picking tomorrow. So. Uh, today's the 10th for me and tomorrow is the 11th. So I want to make sure that we specify the 11th. Then at the bottom, you'll be able to see an option that says run, uh, run after confirmation. And then you have the option to run immediately. We definitely want to run this immediately because the idea here is that we want to send a text message that just goes on its own, right? So right at 8 a.m. And so if we do run after confirmation, which is the default, that means it's not gonna send that text message until after we okay a confirmation, which would defeat the whole purpose of automating the sending of the text message. So we're gonna go ahead and say we want that to run immediately. And then if you want it to pop up a notification to let you know that it has sent the text message, you can do that. This is completely optional. It does not have any bearing on whether or not the text message sends. It just lets you know that it has been sent when that happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on just for the sake of this example. Then what we want to do is tap on next and we want to specify send text message. Now here's where you're gonna be able to specify what it is that you want to send. So we'll say don't forget your sunscreen. So just as a nice friendly reminder and then this is where we're going to specify our recipient or recipients. Okay, so now that I have specified my recipient, and we have the time and the date and the message, we're going to tap on done. Okay, so now what's going to happen is that tomorrow at 8 a.m. it is going to send the text message to the recipient that I had specified along with the message. Now you might be wondering, why is it that we had to go in here and specify monthly? And the reason is because Unfortunately, this is a little bit more of a workaround than a bulletproof solution when it comes to sending an automated or scheduled text message. Currently, to the time of this, or at the time of this video, there's only one way to actually schedule out uh, an email or a text message. Email would be a different video. But there's only way to do that, and that is to create a repeating schedule for your automation. The workaround for that is, as I mentioned, to go ahead and specify this to send monthly. The reason why you wouldn't want to say, you know, maybe daily is because if you forgot to turn this off, you're going to be sending the same text message to the same person every single day or every single week. By monthly, it gives you a whole month to remember to turn that off. So what you can do is, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I specified that you probably want to turn on to get notified when this is run so that at that point you know to disable this. So what you can do after your text message has been sent is you have two options. One, you can go ahead and delete this. You can just slide this to the side and then tap on delete. Another option is you can actually just tap on this after it has been sent and then you can go ahead and change this from run immediately to don't run. And that way you can see down here that it has been disabled and you don't have to worry about it sending every month or every week or every day. And then once you need to go ahead and schedule out a new text message to a different person, you can just change this to run immediately and just change all the variables such as the time, the date, and then the message and the recipient. So just as another quick example, just so you can see this in action, let's go ahead and change this to be today 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the time to be just one minute from now. So we, so we can actually see this run today. Let's go ahead and change this to, there we go, to today, we'll tap done. And there we go, there's the notification up at the top. It says we're running your, we're running your automation. And then you can see there is that message. Okay, so that's pretty much it. A pretty straightforward solution. As I mentioned, unfortunately, it's not a perfect solution. Uh, as of the time of this video, Apple doesn't really have a bulletproof way to schedule out your text messages. So the only downside or caveat to this one is that you have to remember every single time your automated text message gets sent out to go in there and to either A, disable or B, delete that automation after you're done running it. But not too tricky, not too difficult. If you found a better or more streamlined way, feel free to leave me a comment below. As always, if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.